Welcome everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. I did not feel like leaving the camper, so I saw this as the perfect opportunity to give you a little bit more of a look inside of me. I'm very passionate about music. Music is a big part of who I am today, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I wanted to show you guys my record collection. It's basically my most prized possessions. Starting with Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory in number one. It sold over 27 million copies in 2000. It was the biggest album in the world at that time. It features songs such as Paper Cut, One Step Closer, and Points of Authority. It is one of my favorite albums, but it's not my favorite Linkin Park album. I should mention that Linkin Park is my favorite band. My favorite Linkin Park album is Meteora, released in 2003, but I bought that album as a 20th anniversary deluxe set, so I will be showing that one at the end of the video. So we'll be moving on to my second favorite band, 21 Pilots, with Vessel by 21 Pilots coming in at number two. This album features songs such as Ode to Sleep, Holding On to You, and Guns for Hands. It is basically essential 21 Pilots. A lot of you guys probably won't know this band, but just like Linkin Park, they hold a special place in my heart. And the actual record is this silver color, and you can see the songs on there and on the other side too. Anyway, this album was released in 2013 and has been beloved by fans all around the world. Coming up on number three, we have Blurry Face by 21 Pilots. This is probably gonna be more recognized. It features very popular songs such as Stressed Out and Ride. But if you take a closer look, there are some really good songs in it. In my personal opinion, every song by Linkin Park and 21 Pilots is good, but not everyone thinks that and I respect it. This album here was released in 2015 and was an absolute hit. I admire 21 Pilots because they talk about serious topics such as depression and anxiety. And not only that, but they do it in the form of a story and it is told throughout their albums and there's lore that you can see throughout the music videos and it's still continuing today. Now this record actually comes with two actual vinyl records and it's a very beautiful vibrant red. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. And another cool thing about this album is that this thing right here, it slides out and it takes the color away. And for number four, we have 21 Pilots' latest album, Scaled and Icy. This one was released in 2021 during the pandemic, and it features a poppier, kind of happier approach. The most popular song on this album is probably a song called Shy Away. Now, a lot of you guys probably aren't familiar with these bands. Maybe Linkin Park, because Linkin Park is pretty famous. Um, but maybe if you give these albums a try. You might like them. Who knows? This album is definitely a work of art, um, including the cover. This is a dragon called Trash the Dragon, and it is a part of the lore. They changed up their symbol, this album, and it is a pretty transparent blue record. I played a few songs from this album to Jason and Danielle. They didn't seem to like it, but that's okay. My music taste is very diverse, so it's understandable if they don't like it. Now, coming in at number five, my favorite album, 20 year anniversary Meteora box set. Or not really a box set, but basically, it's like a book and it slides out through there. See, this thing comes off and here it is, the book. It has a lot of history behind it. It's got obviously 20 years of history behind it. And if we open it up, it looks like this. These sleeves right here are where the vinyl records are stored in. This is what the original Meteora album looks like. I don't have like a normal cover for it. I just bought this with the box set. 
but I will be getting another copy in a normal, you know, vinyl cover. But it comes with this, and it comes with this poster, this Lincoln Park stencil. I absolutely have to show this, but I definitely do not want to damage it. A closer look at the Meteor art wall. This is a real wall and the box set came with this poster, which I think is pretty cool. They also did a show in Texas around 2003 and it was so good that they turned it into like an album of its own. And it comes with this and this one here, I guess it's just a two-parter. It comes with these stickers. I don't know what I'm gonna use them though, but I want it to be on something that I'll have for a long time. Um, maybe when I build my PC, I will put them on there because these are definitely special to me. And it comes with this piece of art. It comes with these four CDs with, of course, more art on the background. And it comes with these three DVDs and more art. They also did a really good show live in Nottingham. I'm guessing that's in the UK. I really like the contrast of the blue and the red orange color. These also came with the box set. They're both vinyl records. Now it is also an actual book. It comes with stuff about the songs. This is my favorite album. It's such a good album. And my favorite song, I literally can't decide between Don't Stay and a song called Breaking the Habit. I think they're equally my favorite out of all Lincoln Park. Here's more, easier to run, hit the floor, line from you. And it's just a lot of artwork and it's visually stunning. This is the band Breaking the Habit. The paragraphs are just explaining about the making of the songs. And it's a pretty cool booklet. More, more artwork and stuff. You may recognize the song Numb. I don't know how I didn't mention In The End from the album Hybrid Theory. That is literally the most popular song from them. This is just all the lyrics to all the songs on there. And they released some demos that they were working on 20 years ago that we're just hearing today. These are all new this year, but they were made 20 years ago. And Lincoln Park also has another album released in 2000 called Reanimation. The name is fitting because it's quite literally hybrid theory reimagined or, you know, reanimated. The album cover is on the back of this thing, but I'll also put it up on the screen for you right there. But yeah, this is another pop figure that I got. Oh, there's the back. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm probably gonna end it here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of me expanding to different content and I will see you in the next one. If you're still watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Plenty of fun stuff to see there.